What is going on guys, welcome back to another tour on the Chaos Craft fan server and today we are going to be touring this build that you can see right in front of me and again we are in the Warp Mansion Beach, I don't know what I'm near right now, I'm trying to figure out if I'm near anything that I've toured before, I don't think so but if you want to know the coordinates to this build guys to come and check it out for yourself, uh, make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll show you the coordinates. So like I said we're going to be touring this house and this house is called the Tudor Estate and it is built by, let's go and check out the signs, this is by Element Build 98, <clears throat> I think we've toured Element Build, one of Element Build's houses before. It's a Tudor Estate, 5 bedrooms, 8 bathrooms. Check me out on PMC, member Element Build 98, uh, best viewed in any variation of Sortec, and that is what we are in. So, let's take a little fly around the outside and check out all the detail and stuff. It looks really cool, I love the roofing, like, this. We're, we're, I love it when people do like different kind of accents on roofing and stuff it looks really nice uh, if we go around it's a very strange shaped house look at it it's very long at the front i didn't know where the actual front was i thought the front was like here or something but that this is not actually the front of the house the front of the house is here so it's, it's very it's very confusing at first but when i worked it out it, it looks really really nice so this is kind of like the side you got a big big driveway a side entrance and then three garages there it's got an e on the floor i think that stands for element build because he built it so this is his house uh, we'll go around here um again we've got a nice a simple backyard there but we'll check that out a little bit more but this house is one of them houses that i can tell straight from the start is going to be very big on the inside it doesn't look that that like crazy big on the outside but i can imagine all oh, it's going to have a lot of rooms and stuff on the inside so let's get started and check it out so let's go in so first thing we go in we've got kind of this entryway we've got two rooms either side that's interesting so we've got like a little fireplace room oh i love the detail on the ceiling all that kind of stuff so much attention gone into it uh, so a little table there of a little fireplace and we'll check out this side as well over here this is kind of like a little reading corner you've got like your charming tables there for your books and a bookshelf and another little fireplace there as well all right this is going to be confusing right upstairs is there and this is the pool table or snooker table Really nice design with the anvils and stuff. I really like it. Whether it's a pool or a snooker table, I don't know. I, th I would say snooker because he's got like the crafting table there and that's where you'd put the balls kind of thing. It looks really cool. I like that. And I'm not sure where we are. This is kind of just like a games room. Maybe. I'm not sure where they are. What's that? Right. I, I don't know. I would say jukebox, but the levers on top is confusing me a little bit. But what's over here? So we have a dining room. Uh, nice size dining room, nice size dining table, there's so many places to go, I'm not sure where to go, maybe let's go around this side of the house, so we've got a nice dining room there, we go in here, we have a office area, so this is a desk with uh, some bookshelves around, just a nice simple office, and we go over here as well, this is, oh this is the side entrance to the house that we came in before, okay, I'm starting to get my bearings a little bit now, so this is the kitchen which kind of leads on to the pool area over there, so we've got a nice kitchen design, I love the cooker design with the anvils on top and stuff, it just looks really cool with the fans going up there, and the central area here with, um, I'm guessing that's still a cooker area as well that you can cook on, and the units and stuff as well really nice kitchen design i like that a lot and also a nice fridge i want to go over here and check this out so again we've got another seating area of a nice fireplace i think that's a tv up there as well um oh this is the banisters i was wondering what that was then and a big big couch too uh what am i missing what am i missing uh, this leads to the outside so we don't need to go out there just yet this is just a storage area like a little pantry or something like that and if we go around here we have another staircase going upstairs we won't go up there just yet and this is kind of like I'm guessing where people hang their coats and stuff kind of looks like that to me oh and this is the garage as well so I guess you come in here park your car you get in here hang your coat up and then you're free to go and do whatever you want in the house and this is a utility room and this leads out to the outside as well so the layout of this house is crazy there's so many why can't i go through there there's so many different like avenues to go down you can just go down everywhere and get to everywhere in the house have i missed anything i don't think so so maybe that is the downstairs complete yeah so what let's go up the main staircase here i don't think i missed any rooms what's around here or maybe i missed this what is this Did I, oh it's a bedroom i did miss this 
Okay, so this is a bedroom. So we've got a huge, huge king size, like or king size, what looks like master's master bedroom here, I think, with like a huge four poster bed. Nice bed design, like the bed head as well. Um, you've got some seating as well. You've got a little desk over there, you've got a huge screen TV and some storage. And I'm guessing there's an ensuite here as well. Whoa, this is a crazy ensuite. Look at this. So I'm guessing you've got some storage. So it's like a walk in closet slash ensuite so you've got a closet there and you walk through here you've got your ensuite bathroom you've got a huge bath you've got your uh, vanity things there and you've got a toilet is oh no shower just a bath and this is a sauna as well so this is definitely a mansion i would say that is the master bedroom because you look at it this bathroom looks crazy with the um closet the bath the the sauna everything definitely the master bedroom i would say so let's go back around here have i missed anything else i do not think i've missed anything else downstairs now so i think we're fine so let's go upstairs and check that out just want to double check around here i don't think i have let's go up here so upstairs we are met by huge corridors a uh, nice staircase. I like the use of hoppers as your banisters. A lot of people use anvils, but that's a little bit different to use hoppers. Um, a little window seat there. Um, I don't know where to go. I really don't know where to go. Let's start straight, maybe. So come up the staircase. Let's start over here. So this is, well, maybe not. Let's start over there. There's so many places to go. Let's start here then. So this is a tiny little bedroom kind of like a guest room um very simple got a nice simple bed design and you've got a little bit of storage there and also has an ensuite too which the door leads to somewhere else <laughs> wow this house is crazy there's doors going to everywhere so we've got like a sink as well i want to go back around here so i don't get lost if we go around here we've got a little seating area what's this this little window thing again so you can look out yeah it is so we've got a nice seating area here if you just want to chill up upstairs um if we go through here we have another seating area upstairs again so if you want to you don't want to chill there there's no space you can go and chill over here so if we go around this area here we've got another room which is a storage area like a little mini closet and we go around here and then we are in this kind of grand area that looks over the living room that we saw with the tv and the fireplace and stuff and again using the hoppers um this will link to the bathroom maybe i don't know i'm confused is this that bathroom i was in no it's not it's another bedroom okay wait wait i'm confused there's the bathroom that i was in there so i came from around there and then we are in this area here so let me start over here oh I thought, oh it has signs oh, it says boys only danger no girls allowed keep out what is this oh, i guess this is kind of like a boys room oh look at the bunk beds that is a really cool bunk bed design. I've never seen that before. Really nice. I like that bunk bed design. Uh, we've got all toys on the floor there. So this is obviously the boys' room. And they have an ensuite as well with a, just a toilet, no shower, and a little sink area as well. If we go over here. Whoa, this house is huge. It's absolutely huge. Let me check out these rooms and then we will check out that bit over there. I am so confused right now. So if we go over here. This is where we came up, down that corridor there, and this is another bedroom. So another simple guest bedroom with a nice bed design. Um, we've got some storage and a nice size TV there. And again, an ensuite with a shower in this one, actually, and a sink. And this is your toilet here. The layout of this house is crazy. You fit so much into such a small space. Really awesome job. Um, let's go around here, and I'm guessing this is going to be another bedroom. Yep, another guest room, similar to the one we saw before. We've got a nice bed design there with a nice size TV, some storage, and we have a toilet. Uh, no shower this time, so just a toilet. Um, so I think we are done for this side of the house, and now let's go over to this side of the house over here, where it just keeps going and going and going. Um, this is the staircase that was next to the the garage so there we go there's the garage there was there's where you hang your coats and you go up this staircase and then we are here that's where we just came from so we're going to go this way now and this is a nice piano upstairs crazy um, we go here we have a, another storage room where you can just store your stuff and if we go over here is that a swimming pool what <laughs> this house is an upstairs swimming pool crazy so we've got a, li a little swimming pool in here but that is, that is crazy. I can't believe you've got a swimming pool in here. Um, Didn't it say five bedrooms? I, I, did I go in five bedrooms? I can't remember. I went one downstairs. Uh, I went three up here. So I think I'm maybe missing one. I'm not sure. But we've got a swimming pool design upstairs in your house, which is 
absolutely crazy. We've got another bathroom here with a shower and just a sink and a toilet. Just what you need. Oh, is this a bedroom maybe? No, that's a storage I went in. So there's downstairs. Let's, let's count in the bedrooms because I feel like I've missed one out. That's the boys' bedroom. So that's one. Uh, that was another bedroom there. So that's two. Uh, that's another bedroom there. That's three. That's another bedroom there. That's four. Yeah, and the one downstairs. So I think, I think that is all of the bedrooms we've gone through. That layout of this house is absolutely crazy. I could never think of doing something like this. Crazy, awesome job. So let's go out to the back and check out the back garden. If I know where it is, I think it's here. Yes, nice guess. So if we go through here, we've got this kind of like patio area. I love the design of it. A little archway and the detail you've put into the ceiling there. This will take us through. To the utility room do we go in here yeah that's the staircase yeah well <laughs> getting so confused um this is the utility room and then we've got the patio just love the detail of the floor and stuff and we go out here and we have a swimming pool nice swimming pool design very simple um we've got some lounge area over here with some towels on the floor a barbecue area and a place where you can sit outside and eat as well and if you want to go and run around on the grass you can too but i think that is everything guys what a crazy crazy house really nice design i love the detail that's gone into it and the layout of the house as well is really really cool um but if you guys want to come and check out this house for yourself make sure you come onto the fan server and warp to uh mansion beach i think it is and then the coordinates are there on the screen right there so if you want to come and check it out for yourself but if you want to leave a comment in the or well, can't speak if you want to leave a, a comment in the comment section of this video letting element build know what you think of this house um by all means do that or come on the server and leave a sign outside his house as well but if you want to come on the server and check it out guys the ip is mc.chaoscraft.net and uh thank you so much for watching guys i really hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you again another episode on the chaoscraft fan server <laughs>